you join us from Verbier for the Verbier Saint Bernard trail race 73k 4,900 meters of epic trail running through the mountains so follow us along for all the action Here we are at registration, or as they call it here, number withdrawal, which uh, took me a while to get my head around, but just picked up the number, so 1187, and yeah, as you can probably see behind me, everybody queuing up to get their numbers. So we're gonna check out some of the kit on, on sale here, have a look around, and generally taking the atmosphere, and then we're going up to check in to the chalet in a minute, and then we're coming back down here tonight for the briefing, which we're really excited for. So we'll catch up in a bit. We're just gonna head out for some dinner now. We've just driven up um, pretty much to the cloud line. You can see the clouds here. The uh, weather's not that great today, but the weather for the foreca forecast for over the weekend is meant to be absolutely amazing. But yeah, it's still spectacular views today. Just up near Verbier golf course and looking absolutely glorious even in this weather but the weather forecast the weekend is looking absolutely amazing um yeah probably just something to note that they've said in the briefing the weather's going to be about five degrees up at the top um of the coals up at the highest point about 2700 meters and then up to about 25 degrees down in the valley floor so a lot of lot of temperature fluctuations to deal with but yeah we'll be on that tomorrow so right we're going to head off for some dinner <laughs> Here we are, we're in La Fouille, Fouille. We, don't know. we don't know how to say it, and it's about 15 minutes to the start. It is absolutely freezing, got the massive gloves on. Uh, it is very cold, it is very cold. We, we live in England, it's much yeah, I mean, harder than this. It is, that's why, it's freezing. So uh, yeah, we're just heading down to the start line and we'll be off in about 15 minutes. Cannot wait. We are nine-ish kilometers into the race. About 900 meters of climbing so far. And uh, up at about 2,600 meters. And I am pretty tired. But when you look at the scenery behind, it's not too bad, is it? So, uh, yeah, I've been walking with a pulse for about the last 5k. It's super, super steep, but just nearing the top now, and then I can enjoy the long downhill. So I'll see you on the descent the other side.
God only knows how much. I think I've got 400 metres in 2k. Absolutely crazy. Running through streams, but now we're. Uh, now we've got a nice little bit of flat for about 500 metres. You really don't get much flat here, so just trying to make up a little bit of time, get some fluids on board. I've got a stone in the shoe, every little helps. So I'm going to take that out and get some nutrition as well because I'm burning quite a lot and haven't taken anything on board yet. So yeah, going well. Oh, negotiating another bloody stream. Going well and we'll check in, in a bit. K in, super tough, just struggling a bit with the altitude, I don't know whether that's just in my head or whether it's true, but it's pretty hard to breathe coming out on those bits and every time I run I just get really short of breath, but headaches and things, but I'm getting it done. Right, time to get some food on board and see you back on the course. about 24k in, just running through a little town. Merci, merci. Uh, heading down to the second checkpoint. Jacket off, sun is out, and a quick uh, toilet stop and I'm feeling a lot better now, probably because we're at much lower altitude. So yeah, about heading to checkpoint two, about 24k done. Just for the record, first marathon, three hours in five minutes just to put things in perspective there uh, never done a half marathon and did one in training once in 113 so put that into perspective of just how tough this is but still we're plugging on and getting it done so we're just leaving the second a station refill of water and what do we have lots of watermelon lots of like liquid fruit melon and uh and uh, bananas and some salty biscuits because uh, yeah it's really quite hot now about 25 degrees down in the valley so now we start the big climb up to the next summit so we'll see you probably about halfway up so we're about only a kilometer into this climb i am dying but look at those views behind just trying to take in as much water as i can but it is a while to the next stop but there's so many rivers and streams out here. It's, uh, there's lots of fuel stations along the way, so not too bad. Right, I need this arm for pole action. See you in a bit. Bottle up from a little spring, and so oh, look who we have here. Little cat. Hey, little cat. And uh, yeah, just look at the views. But good to get good to get the water filled from the from the spring there because I was all out and not even halfway up this hill yet. Hill. I don't really think hill is the right term. Uh, these things are pretty damn tough. Well, we've just left checkpoint three, which is just behind me here. People are coming into it on this side, and uh, yeah, that's the scenery from that side. Just mountains everywhere. But yeah, without doubt, this is 
the hardest thing I've ever, ever done, and we're not even halfway through. But still, feeling pretty positive. It's just so difficult because you just can't run. There's no, it's just like, just trekking through all of it. There's very few places you can actually get any speed up. There's so much time on your feet, so technical. Um, but yeah, now I've got about three or four k downhill, which is going to absolutely take out of me. But still, what have we got? We're 2,300 metres climbed, and I'm not sure how far we've gone. About 33k, I think, about 33k. Right, this is what where we're heading down now. So, I see everybody in a bit. It's tough. And horrible as this is at times, now at 37, 37 kilometres, 2,400 metre climbing. If you look at views like this, we've got to run. Not too bad, eh? Quick check in, marathon's just come up, 42k. I won't worry about the 200 meters. In about 6.45, and now this is the descent that faces us. It's absolutely bonkers this race. People are just skipping down it like it's, like they're just sort of crossing the road. Oh. Whoa, paraglider out there. It's absolutely crazy. I mean, I'm probably just as strong as most people out here on the uphills um, and the flat, but downhill, just absolute, complete beginner, absolute amateur, losing so much time. But still, first time I've ever really done anything like this. So it's all a big learning curve and getting it done. Quick check in, so we are about 45 or 46k down. Everything's kind of hurting to be expected, really, because the elevation change. The only way I can really describe it is that annoying. I hate it, like when you've got earphones in, like properly in your ear, and then you catch it on something, and it's like that, and it, oh, there's no worse feeling, and it's just like that. Like, you just running along and bash into a rock and bash and bash and just constant it's like the ground is just poking you all the time it's constantly hitting your foot and stuff stumbling i'm just not at home in this terrain hopefully i will be one day but it's not right now but anyway enough rambling about 29k left to go and yeah we're gonna get it done we're gonna get it done in a half decent time so pretty Pretty positive about that. Right, watch. So, reached a beautiful river crossing. The sound of the running water is so lovely. Just makes you want to get in. But unfortunately, we've still got about 27k to go. And now we're going to climb this. Just so when I look back and think, how the hell did it take so long? Just look at this for a climb and the elevation. So, so tough. So steep you can hardly stand up. Fuck me. Excuse my French.
So we are at 52 kilometers and look at the view here, the glacier coming right through the valley at the aid station here just leaving and we're just approaching 10, 10 hours. <laughs> kind of just cannot convey just how hard this is. You're not allowed to quit at this aid station because it's so inaccessible, which is a really nice thing. The only way you can get out of here is by helicopter and you have to pay for that. Um, that's about the only thing that's keeping me going. The fact that I, the only way to get out of here is to carry on because I am absolutely done. But we've only got one more climb, although that is the biggest climb of the day to get done. Um, yeah, so I'm going down now for about 10k and then up for about 10k. So, right, nice 36 minute kilometers there. Um, right, I'm going to sign off and get back to running. Just about to click over to 59k. Um, and yeah, I don't know, I've got no idea what that leaves left to go, but 14, 15, 16, 10 miles, something like that. But I am absolutely had enough of this race. It is just, I mean, look at that hill there. We've just come like over the, I'm just gonna swear, over the top of it, like just down. Like, I don't understand how people can do this. It's absolutely nuts. And I'm going what I think is quite a good pace down these hills and people are just flying past like, like they're just doing like it's just nothing. I mean fair enough living in London but I've been massively taught a lesson today. Massively taught a lesson. Come out here to have a play around and yeah just being kicked around and spat out but it's kind of enjoyable I mean the scenery is stunning but we're what 11 hours 14 in and just under 10 miles to go let's have a look at the elevation oh I'm going the wrong way a great footage there just looking at so we've got 1485 meters left of climbing We've done about three and a half thousand, just absolutely crazy. Right, A station coming up in a sec, and then this 1485 metre climb. Bring it on. Oh god, I can't wait for this to be done. So we're just leaving the second last checkpoint. We've got about 12k to go, and about 1300 metres of climbing and some very very sorry looking people at the checkpoint with me being a prime candidate for one of them feeling just like beyond words everything is so painful blisters ahoy all over the feet just i've done some tough runs in my life but this one abs absolutely and i know it's easy to say that when you're in the moment but whoa just like serious serious uh i mean you always feel good when you leave a checkpoint so i'm feeling a bit better now but the run down to that one put that into perspective is 9k between checkpoints nine kilometers and i think it's about 1500 meters of elevation drop in 9k i mean i've just didn't know that sort of thing existed you know humans can even get over that but anyway right got the final climb which is without doubt going to be the hardest thing we do today and then if we can get that done then it's downhill all the way into Verbier and England just won the football so that's put me right up I managed to hear, uh, hear a bit of the game on my phone and um, yeah so that's fantastic right here's the climb it is 1400 odd meters to get up let's get it done Right guys, darkness is setting in, although we are in the trees. 
but the sun is going down on this most I can't think of words to describe this day like up and down emotions and up and down here was like I just never even knew existed but we have just under 600 meters to go we've been climbing here about 4k uh, 800 meters climb in 4k so far um, also managed to stab my foot with a pole which is like the most painful thing in the world these poles are designed to grip into like solid rocks so the foot is a bit on the squelchy side very very painful but I'm just trying not to think about it so I talk about it to the camera let's do hardest thing I've ever done by so far like doesn't even compare to the 100 mile or the 200 mile to 100 mile races just on a whole nother level but still we've got 590 meters of climbing to go then Bed. That would be amazing. So I've been at the A station for about an hour and 20 minutes, just feeling super, super sick. The uh, uh, first day people have been really nice. Uh, basically, they've given me their iPhone charger, <laughs> so uh, that's pretty cool, because uh, they don't want me to leave without my phone charged, uh, which is dead. Uh, but yeah, just feeling super, super sick, just trying to get some food down. But feeling better. And when I arrived, just not sure whether to wait for Sarah. Sarah will probably be here um, about 50 minutes, so I might just try and get my head down and wait for Sarah. Or I'll carry on, but yeah, just I don't know whether it's the attitude or probably just the fact I've just utterly, utterly spent like just the hardest thing I've ever done by so far, even compared to like the hundreds and. Yeah, it's just words cannot describe. Um, not a lot else to say, really. Just, uh, just gonna hold it out. Um, see what happens. Uh, probably give it another sort of 20 minutes and then decide whether to carry on. Um, someone did just offer me a lift back down, but I don't want to quit. But yeah. 7k to go. Look who's turned up. Sarah's here now, so Just we're gonna save the day. Save the day, save me. I'm feeling a <coughs> lot, lot better now. But I've been at this lovely aid station for about three hours 45 now. So yeah, we're gonna try and finish off the last little bit. It's pretty much all downhill, all the way to Verbier. So yeah, probably not gonna film too much. Oh, but that's so cold. Let's go. <laughs> we are finally. After 19 hours and about eight minutes, made it to the finish. <laughs> Finishing up, without doubt, the hardest thing I've ever, ever done. But there we go. 
So we're gonna run across the finish. Let's go. So it's the morning after the day and unfortunately night uh, from before come up uh, to enjoy the beautiful views over Verbier and the mountains in the distance and yeah just a few thoughts on the race. Um, so for me I quickly became apparent quite early on the downhills just super super technical downhills that you get out here and I just don't have that sort of experience compared to competing against guys that are living and training in this environment I just don't have that so I've really got a lot more a lot more practice on those downhills uphills really really strong really happy with that performance getting the poles into action and really really happy with that but a lot more sort of technical stuff I need to work on and and fueling as well so yeah really open if any of you guys have got some ideas on fueling for these big races can't always have a crew so you're kind of reliant on the aid stations and then the fuel and stuff that you can carry on board which is never really enough and you know to the back end of these races I'm always finding I just run out of stuff and then start to feel sick and nauseous just because I've just got nothing inside it's got nothing left so uh, I think I'm gonna give some tailwind a go it's obviously really really popular you can carry the sachets and things with you um, yeah because by the time I got to that final climb I was just completely dead I uh, just had nothing left to give so um, just decided to wait in for Sarah but yeah overall I've got to be happy with that in a way it wasn't the race I wanted to but coming into this sort of environment which living in central London this is completely alien to me um, and so yeah I'm, I'm overall I'm very happy you know the race didn't go to plan um, we got most of the way through it before those problems started and then yeah like I say I just felt the best just to chill out gather my thoughts and everything in the A station and wait for Sarah to come in and yeah we enjoyed the lovely last sort of six seven K back down into Verbier um, yeah sort of enjoyed that together so it was really really nice so overall pretty happy you know it's not perfect but but pretty happy and lots and lots of stuff to work on Thanks for following along guys, really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, then a like below would be really great, just helps to promote the channel. And yeah, consider subscribing as well. Lots of great running related content coming up in the future. Really, got a really packed race schedule, so I hope you take the video along on that to document all the races and yeah, also lots of hints and tips to help you out with your running as well. So yeah, please consider subscribing and I will see you in the next one.